Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon, welcome to another episode of Code Gear Solution of the Rebellion. <clears throat> Apologies, um, I'm very bunged up today, so if there's a lot of sniffling or throat clearing, I do apologise. Um, I hope I'm not coming down for anything too serious, but I've uh, been bunged up for the last couple of days now. Um, so apologies, this episode is going up a little bit late. I had a friend over for the weekend, and it meant I just couldn't get time to record it. Um, but we're getting up today instead, which means that there's less of a gap between the two episodes that you guys normally have to wait through. Um, yeah, we watched the first two episodes of this season, and it both caused confusion, and then it kind of revealed a bit of what was going on. Um, the Emperor has Gears, as does this Rolo. Um, I don't know what Rolo's Gears is, however it's clear that uh, the Emperor kept Lelouch alive. Lelouch had been captured, changed his memories, uh, got rid of his memories of Nunnally, um, of him being Zero. Um, he did eventually remember, and now it looks like Rolo is after Lelouch to try and kill him. Now, people in the comments have said that's the reason why the Emperor didn't kill Lelouch, which is one of the questions I asked last week, um, was because he's trying to draw out C2. Which kind of makes sense. I don't. I still don't know what's going on between the whole C2 and... I mean, it, it kind of is starting to formulate in my mind that the Emperor is playing around with Gias. You know, he's discovered Gias. He is trying to create people who can give Gias, maybe. Or he's found these people who can give Gias. Um, <clears throat> and he's trying to exploit them. And that's why he wants to find C2. Because C2 can make contracts and give Gias, I believe. Um... So it's an interesting plot twist. I mean, I was speaking to my friend Stephen over the weekend about this, and he said that, um, you know, the first season is brilliant, which I agree with him. Uh, the second season is good, but not quite as good. So it'd be interesting to see if that pans out and, and my opinion forms that way. Um, but this week's question comes from a really awesome name, which I initially read as Our Ally Awesome Name. Um, would I rather have a Death Note or Lelouch's Gias? Um... Well, that's a very interesting question, and I think it would depend on the kind of person that you are, but for me, I'd rather have the Gears, simply because, one, using a Death Note means you can neither go to heaven nor hell, uh, which is kind of a hell in of itself, I guess, if you're stuck in the the world of the Shinigamis. Um, I think you could do a lot more with the Gears than the Death Note. I mean, I don't have a lot of people on my list that would go on to the Death Note, you know, I don't have any personal enemies. I guess if I was to put anyone down on the Death Note, it would be generally evil people out in the world. Um, you know, I would start off very much like, I guess, um, Light started out wanting to only kill the evil and the unjust. And then maybe I'd fall into the same trap that Light fell into, where my ego got the better of me. I thought I could be a god. Who knows? I don't want to go down that route. I'd rather have the ability to give someone an order and they follow that order without hesitation. I mean, in that way, I could kill someone if I wanted to, so Lelouch's Gears could almost be as good as the Death Note, although you don't get the certainty that it's going to succeed because, you know, again, the person could fail. If you ask them to kill someone, they may not do it, or they may die in the attempt. But yeah, I think I'd rather have the Gears because it gives me the ability to not be an egotistical murdering god. Um... And then I also get to tell people what to do, at least once. So, thank you very much for the question, a really awesome name. I very much appreciate it. It was a very good question. Uh, if you guys want to ask a question and be featured in next week's episode, just ask it in the comments below. Um, and upvote the one that you like the most if you don't ask a question. And, uh, yes, I'll answer it on the next episode. So, anyway, let's jump into this one and see what happens. Zero. Oh. It's my cell phone. Nothing else. Rolo, are you okay? Uh, Is that Lelouch? Thank heaven. I was getting really worried because I couldn't oh. get a hold of you. You aren't hurt, are you? You're somewhere safe, right? Is Lelouch playing so mind games here. with him? Is the Zero making the speech right now a different person? Uh, Big Brother, where are you right now? Me? What are you talking about? Especially since... Uh, Hello, Rolo. It's me. Uh, Miss Valletta? Lelouch came back... Oh, they installed her in the... the classes that he missed. You should get back here in the soon school. Too. That's interesting. Yes, ma'am, I understand. You don't like it? You mean you don't like it, do you? <laughs> Lelouch, open the oven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lelouch is quite the chef. No pizza today? Frying pan? 
Shirley was practically out of her mind, the poor girl. Oh, if my Rolo's been killed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where is Rolo? I spoke with him, but you know, the boy is she in love with Rolo now? Older brother. That's partly why he doesn't have any friends, isn't it? You should simply say he's quiet. Uh, not that I mind your dirty hands on my mouth, but Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like Nobody remembers anything there. about Nanali. No, they Sister don't. They've all been guessed. Ten little brother. Oh, is this like a secret place for Rollo to go? <clears throat> oh, there's a secret council in the school. There are 180 cameras on campus. You've still no clue where C2 <laughs> is. <laughs> And that's it. That's the key. Is Those C2. Those of us in the Office of Secret Intelligence will carry on our mission to capture her. People, continue observing the bait as you have been. Coach Valletta, you really should have more faith in me. Valletta knew uh, a woman I once used my gias on. Yep. Made her forget. <laughs> I can use my gias power on a person only once. The victory wow. Bordeaux we drink tonight will be a fine vintage. Who is this? Approaching from above. What? Oh, okay. Lancelot, Teddy is quite dead. Knights of the round here at the front line. Please surrender. What? You have no chance of winning. Anyone who throws his weapon down will not be shot. Of all the impertinent, destroy it, Teddy. Who is this? <clears throat> Is this the uh, the Europeans? Oh, they. Our military had Babel Tower completely surrounded. So how did you do it? How did you, how did you get out? Them? What are you talking about, Rolo? Do you want to know how I got away from the military, or did you mean to say terrorists? The locket. That's right. What's in the Remember locket? Giving it to Rolo for his birthday. No, that's wrong. October twenty fifth is not his birthday. It's Nonali's birthday. It's a false memory. Rolo, give me that locket. Huh? I don't know what I was thinking. That's not a good gift for a guy. I'll get you something. <laughs> don't take it. You gave it to me. It's mine. Oh, he's very Please sensitive don't... about that. Don't take it back. Uh, sure, fine. You keep it then, Rolo. <laughs> What's in that locket? That's the key. Oh shit, what? Oh, he can freeze people? Wait for orders! There's a chance he overheard us. Knowledge of Gios is restricted to just us two in the Tokyo section. Oh wow. You can't take the risk. But still, how many of our agents have you killed so far? It was the quickest and most certain method to keeping the secret. <laughs> or am I wrong? It's been three Okay, days that's his Gios. He can freeze States people. Japan was established. That's a very powerful guess. Glaring at us indefinitely. I was just thinking, wouldn't it have made more sense for you to have played the bunny girl? <laughs> yeah, they're in the middle of uh, negotiations here. <laughs> zero is a girl? Correct. I'm not zero. <laughs> oh, you let on too soon. You have no sense of humor, do you? Don't play around with I zero. See. We can see you. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you, Ms. Colin Kozicki. Mm. You're the pilot of the Grand Mark II, right? <laughs> How did you... I'm someone who takes an avid interest in you. <clears throat> Zero! If you value the lives of your That's people, one way to incite a riot, you know? One in an honorable duel. <laughs> <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. Lulu, are you in here all by yourself? So Although... Should your Gios grow stronger than what you have now? Well, we'll it will just work. have to end this game. Before that happens. Are you going out? Yeah, I have to help pick out a gift. It's a present for Miss Valletta's birthday. Her birthday? I wonder if he's ever used Gios on Rolo. I guess birthdays are important, aren't they? Well, I better be going. I'll see you later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss President, Rolo, you come along too. Uh -huh. It'll be fun to chat. Hmm. Uh oh. I've learned about wines, but never tried any. Out of luck there. Pizza. Oh, I saw stuff. pizza. Maybe those are too sweet. Excuse me. How do I fill this part out? Pardon? Sorry, but could you do me a favor? Oh yes. Here we go, boys. Here we fucking go. 
Sure. Wonder why the gear screen looks well, different. Like you know, it's like the effect looks different. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. All I want you to do is pretend that I'm in here for a while. What are you gonna do? I'm going to sneak out of the store and surprise the press and the others. Sure, I gotcha. I don't normally shop here. I hope they don't have any surveillance cameras or microphones. Paging Mr. Maximilian from the Hakodate settlement. Paging uh, Mr. Maximilian from the Hakodate Maximilian. settlement. You that have a phone call. A terrorist warning. It must be the Black Knight. Oh. Zero's been resurrected. Keep your voices down. The customers will hear. But... So that's a secret secret message for the uh, government guys. Okay, hold your positions. Prepare for contact from C2. All that's detailed. Hand have been cleared except for the detonator. Ten. Oh, is there an nine, actual bomb? Eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, it's not detailed. I thought three, it was detailed. Two, one. It's the Black Knights! <laughs> Terrorists? <laughs> What's happening? Yeah, he was following him. He did that to get away. There's no one there. No one's here. Where are they? Oh. It seems they yes. Here we go. You have awakened. I put the man who was following me under my absolute control and turned him into my slave. Just as I thought your top priority was the capture of C2, no matter how wrong the information is that you get. <laughs> oh, he's planted him to moment, give false information. Of a school will become my castle, my fortress of freedom. And as for you, dear brother, I'll make you my pawn to find Nanali. <laughs> what? He froze him. He froze him. Time? Yep. Lelouch, now you and your demonic eye will die. I don't think he's allowed to kill him. Zero emergency! The Chinese Federation just... Huh? What the hell? Oh, they turned on them? Here and now, you cursed Black Knights will be vanquished! Okay, so... I, I don't know if that's the Chinese Federation as a whole turning on the Black Knights or if it's that one guy. Either he's been geassed or he's a plant. Um, I don't know what's going on there. Um, so Rolo's ability is to freeze time in a certain area. Um, which is actually really, really powerful. And I think it's up there with Lelouch's power. You know, because if you can stop time... I mean, I don't know how far his range extends, but you can do anything. You know, within a certain area. And... Again, I love the the tactical planning from Lelouch just to try and mess with the um, the Britannians because he's in a really tight spot right now. He's being watched. His every move is being watched. So not only can he not plan properly because, you know, they're keeping an eye on him. Um, he's also got to put up with, you know, the idea that uh, Rolo is not his actual brother. He's a plant. Um, he doesn't know where Nunley is, you know, probably with the Emperor. Um Everyone around him has had their memories altered. And so he is in a really tough spot. And um, I don't envy him. But it's going to be interesting to see where he goes from here. Um, but a good episode. Very good episode. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And I will see you for the next episode.